Hi, I'm Leslie with Cylon Rolling Acres, and today I'm going to share with you how to use an Instant Pot to cook your goat meat. Now, an Instant Pot is also known as an electric cooker, electric pressure cooker. This is not the same tool as you might use to can vegetables that you harvested from your garden. This is a much different cooking tool than a tool used for canning with, with glass jars. Now, using a pressure cooker or an Instant Pot is a really great way to cook goat meat because it will really create a flavorful and tender meat and, and really co um, cook your meat in a much quicker time period than if you were to even cook it in a slow cooker or in your oven or on a stove top in a traditional braising manner. Now with this guide, it is really designed to be used with recipes that are designed with slow roasting in mind. So you want to keep that obviously in mind as you look at how you might adapt your recipes to use with the Instant Pot. Now this can be used with recipes that are specifically for goat or if you have a recipe you really like that you would like to try with goat but use the Instant Pot, again a great candidate for doing that. I'll walk through some of the different approaches that you can use in how you adapt those. And you may find as you cook with it this first time, um, you'll want to take some notes and figure out how you can make some adjustments based on that particular recipe. Another option outside of using your recipes is to use pre-made sauces or starter ingredients from the grocery store. So a few examples I have here is a Thai red curry sauce that could be used. Also, the example I'm going to show with you now is using this barbacoa slow roaster cook sauce. And so I'm going to use this today in my example on how to use the instant pot with our goat meat. I will also be using bone broth. I have some avocado oil, some salt, and then I have one pound of our bone in goat stew meat from our farm style and rolling acres. Now you don't have to use stew meat. It really, again, it depends on what your goals are for your recipe. You can use any variety of goat stew meat or other cuts of goat as well. Now, if you're going to be working with a larger cut of meat, you may need to adjust your cooking time so that way the whole, your whole cut of meat cooks thoroughly and it reaches that, that, um, that, tender, that desired tenderness. Or you may even want to cut up that, that piece of meat, for example, roast up into smaller pieces so it, it will cook a little bit faster. But either way, using the pressure cooker or the electric cooker is going to really speed up your cook time as compared to a slow cooker or working with the oven. Here's how to cook using the Instant Pot or pressure cooker with your goat meat. First, you'll need to thaw your goat meat if it's frozen. Then lightly salt it and add other seasoning to the goat meat if, you're, if desired. In the pressure cooker's inner pot with the lid off, saute the goat meat on medium heat in butter or your favorite fat or oil to sear the meat. It does not need to be fully cooked. If you really want to speed things up, you don't have to do this step. Then add any chopped vegetables for the purpose of adding flavor to the meat during this cooking process. This can be a good time to saute chopped onion or garlic with the meat. Again, this is optional. If you'd like your vegetables in your dish more as a side, I would suggest waiting to add them after the pressure cooking is complete. Next, you'll add the sauces or seasonings, pre-made or scratch, from your recipes into the pre from your recipe into the pressure cooker. If the sauce includes any cream or milk, and that includes dairy, coconut, or yogurt, you'll want to wait to add them in until you're done with the pressure cooking. After following this recipe, you may find it more ideal to add your seasonings or sauce afterwards or before the cooking process. This is why you'll need to make some adjustments based on each recipe. And again, this is a guide. Next, you'll add one to two cups of bone broth, stock, or water to the mix. If you're not adding a sauce until after the cooking is complete, you'll need to at least add two cups of broth to make sure the meat is completely submerged. And then mix ingredients into the inner pot, in the inner pot until everything is combined. In this example that I'm doing here, I added more bone broth, so at least I had to make sure that the rest of the meat was submerged before we started cooking. Put the lid on next to pro and properly secure it. Set it for 45 minutes on high pressure with natural release. Let it slowly release on the pressure, the pressure on its own. 
Once the natural release is complete, you can remove the lid carefully. Your dish is ready if it's already seasoned and no vegetables need to be added or other sauces. You can remove half the liquid from the pressure cooker, but it is not necessary. If your recipe calls for cream, milk, yogurt, remove at least half of the liquid, about one cup, and then mix your cream, milk, or yogurt, and any other ingredients and vegetables back into your pot, the pot. Set your pressure cooker to the simmer, setting at medium with a, with a cover off. Cook for about 15 minutes. Stir frequently to make sure it doesn't stick. Turn down the temperature if needed. If you just add vegetables, remove about half the liquid, about one cup, and then mix in the vegetables. Set to simmer at medium with the cover off. Cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, stir frequently to make sure it doesn't stick. Turn down the temperature if needed. Now, as you do this, you may find that if the meat is is not tender enough, you may need to adjust the temperature for cooking beyond the 45 minutes. And if that's the case, you can go ahead and just put the cover back on and set your pressure cooker for, let's say, another 15 minutes. You probably will see a difference between using a leg of goat or a roast as compared to stew meat that is much smaller pieces cut up. Same with simmering the sauce or vegetables at the end, you may need to adjust your time to accommodate for a little bit longer cook time to make sure vegetables, especially things like carrots, are fully cooked. But again, this is a guide. So after you're done cooking, you'll, you're ready to serve your dish with other sides of choice, such as rice, noodles, flatbread, or tortillas, depending on your type of recipe. Leslie here. Thank you for watching my video on how to cook goat meat with an instant prater or pressure cooker. This is just one video in an upcoming series based on how to cook goat meat in different um, manners in your kitchen. If you like what you've seen here, please like and also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos. And if you're interested in finding more resources on how to cook goat meat, um, whether it's with the Instant Pot or in other ways, feel free to check out our website at CylonRollingGears.com.